Joining us now here on Zoom is Liz Snyder from Hillside Garden Landscaping, and she's going to share a ground cover suggestion for hot, dry soil. And, you know, it has been a hot summer, Liz. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, it's been really high temperatures. We've had very little rain. We're in kind of a drought right now, and it, it's been a tough growing season. Um, and so I just wanted to highlight a few plants that we use that, are, that can tolerate that hot, dry soil. Um, they can grow in very little soil. So if you've got a rock garden situation or something along a street um, or where it gets really hot or along your driveway, they can be really great. And that is sedum. Um, there's many different kinds of sedum. There's upright varieties and then there's lower ground cover varieties. And the first one that I'm going to share is called Dream Dazzler. Uh, these have such great names. Yeah. Um, it has that kind of burgundy purple foliage. Um, all of the sedum have a, a, a bloom on them that is usually either in the summer or in the early fall. This one has just finished blooming. It was earlier in the summer. But it's got, uh, it's a variegated leaf. It has kind of a pink and a purple to it, but it's a nice height. It's a, sort of a middle height. It'll be about 18 inches or so tall and wide. So if you're looking for just a little height, that, that's really good. But it can tolerate that, that drought really well. I like that name. <laughs> Yeah, and then I've got two that are kind of lower growing. So if you're looking for something that's more of a ground cover or something to just kind of spread um, and fill in, if you've got, you know, a wall, it can look really nice if it's kind of hanging over. If you've got some boulders and it kind of creeps through, it can be really neat. Uh, the first one going with that burgundy color again is called Firecracker. And this uh, bloomed and it had a bright reddish kind of pink flower that was really, really pretty. Um, but after that bloom, it still has really attractive foliage. So it's nice to to kind of mix these with some things that bloom at different times um, and firecracker has got kind of a little bit of green to it too so it's not just all one color it's got a few different hues to it which makes it a little more interesting and uh, the third one that I'm sharing today is called Angelina and this is one of my favorites it's it's it changes color which is kind of fun um, these are all perennials, so they will come back year after year but Angelina in the summer and then in, in the spring and in the summer is a bright yellow chartreuse pop of color. Um, in the winter months, that actually gets kind of an orangey red. So the same plant, it doesn't lose its leaves. It just kind of transitions to more of an orangey kind of coppery color. And then in the spring, when the days start to get long again, it goes back to lime yellow. So that can be a really neat, interesting plant for the winter garden too. And it really goes all year and looks really great. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Liz, for joining us today. Thank you for joining me. I'm Liz Snyder, your home gardener from Hillside Garden Landscaping.